We're going to make boat shoes today for the doll, and I'm sticking to my goal at making it very, very easy. I've easied it down. There's plenty of patterns online if your intentions are to sell, but I think you'll like this one if you're making it for your own child. I've included in my Etsy pattern this time a combo, which will be the shirt, the cargo pants with the pockets, and this boat shoe pattern. Check out the link in the description box. And to make it even more easy, we're using fabrics that you don't have to line and that they do not fray. And of course the easiest fabric is felt. I started out with using my pattern to cut out the felt piece. Um, I cut out an inner sole and an outer sole. And I've made a separate video on how I make shoes with a lot more details than I've included in this video. I have the link listed in the description box. I've also included this little pattern for the tab. I tried doing all the details while it was flat, but I feel like it's going to turn out better if you go ahead and make the shoe and then add the details. I'm top stitching a detail on the little tab part. Okay, next you're going to put a dot of glue at the front of the shoe. I sewed the back of the shoe. You could glue it. And I made sure that it fit around the inner sole. And now I'm going to glue the rest of the shoe. You glue on the outer sole with hot glue gun. In the previous shoe video, I showed you how to take a placemat and cut it into strips and that finishes off the bottom of the shoe. And I'll glue that on. Now for the fun part, embellishing it to make it look like a boat shoe. I'm using this embroidery floss and I like this, this um, off-white kind of a beige. And let's see, what I'm doing is taking the six strands and separating it into three strands. So I have three strands. I thread it into my needle and tie a knot at the end. And I'm back to six strands. And that should make it thick enough for my purposes. I'm going to clip just kind of at an angle and a fourth of a inch down because I want to fold this over to make it look like a boat shoe. Clip the other side at pot, trying to do the same angle. I was going to mark this on the count on the uh, pattern, but I think it's just easier after you get it on the shoe, if you get it a little bit crooked, it's just easier to eyeball it. And that's about the same. I used the embroidery thread. I turned down a little flap and just an up and down running stitch. And then I made a faux moccasin type stitch. You know, they're usually like that. But I just up and down here. I'm going to attach Okay, I think it's like this. Okay. One shoe goes that way and the other one goes this way. So I'm going to try and get them even and 
that little flap will just do that across the top. I'm going to hand sew it. Alright, I did, I did hand sew it. You could glue it, but I'm a little messy with glue, so I'd rather hand sew. And so when you flip it over, it's a nice finish there. Now I did hot glue the tab down, and little boy's shoes, um, it's usually vel a Velcro, but I didn't want to go the trouble of sewing Velcro onto the shoes. So I put a little dab of glue right there, and stuck it on with a little bit of this uh, tab showing. You could round off the tab if you want to. Like that. And here's the shoes on the doll. And thanks for watching.